I don't understand. Did your flight get canceled? No. Well, the plane is still headed to New then York. why aren't you on it? Because of you. You and my nephew have a very special relationship. I can't take Ray from poor Charles. Not when you're dealing with what you're dealing with. And all of a sudden, you care. Hmm. Well, you know, care is kind of a funny word. Be because you, you didn't seem to care when you took Rafe away from me when I found out that my son was going to start chemotherapy. Because that is what I'm dealing with, you know. My son has leukemia. Go ahead. You can say it. Noted. In fact, you went ahead and had the judge rule on your motion while you were getting the diagnosis. Not, not before, not after, but during. Your point? Oh, I don't know. There are so many to choose from. Pick one. OK, OK. Um, I, I find it really hard to believe that you're suddenly so sensitive right now. Well, sensitive might be going a little far, but I realize I do have something of a soul, or at least more of one than my brother had. Your bro why are you bringing Stephen into I'm this? I'm not. Your friend Lucy did. Oh, so you got a talking to from Lucy. No, she needs help. I mean, like psychological help, like Vienna doctor well, help. Why is that? Because she called you out? Because she's crazy. Maybe persuasive or you wouldn't be here. Where's Rafe? At your mother's house. I thought it was better that he sticks around. You know, he will, he'll hate me less and you get the support you need. I guess it's a win-win. OK, wait a minute. So you're really going to back off? I'm still taking Rafe with me. He belongs with family, just not at this time. And there's the look. So what? Rafe's on loan? You could say that. Look, I know it's not everything you want to hear. But you know, it's the best I can do right now. Come on. Soul-wise, it's an improvement. What are you still doing here? Loitering? I thought you had gone. It's the bright spot in my otherwise grim day. Except for the part where you took Rafe against his will. I'm not taking Rafe to Manhattan right now. What does that mean? <laughs> it means he's pretending to have a soul. Yeah, well, good luck with that. Thank you. I'm not looking forward to it. I saw Monica. She's in with Danny and Spinelli. She gave me these. What is this? Well, it's a list from Dr. Singh of the, the chemo medications that Danny needs to take. Um, look, at, look at all these names, all these chemicals. I know, baby. But the goal here is to induce remission. We're going to have to give him those drugs. You don't want to do that. Now, worry about Danny. Sam's son, my grandson, is battling leukemia, which is bad enough. The last thing we need right now is for you to second guess his treatment. It's not a guess. Nor is it any of your business. Stay out of it. Dr. Singh is waiting for us to get started. Hold, hold, hold on. You think this protocol is the wrong way to go? It's not what I would do. Tell me why. Sam, really? Of course he thinks his idea is the best. He thinks he's God's gift to medicine. Maybe, Mom, maybe. But I still, I want to hear what he has to say. It's all pretty standard for Danny's type of leukemia and the remission induction stages. Okay, so what's the problem? No problem. I just think there's a better way to go with small children. I use a different combination of chemotherapy drugs in different proportions. And it works. In my experience, the outcomes of my procedures are equal or greater than the ones your doctor's suggesting. With the added benefit that it might go easier on Danny, it often reduces the side effects. Okay, so if we go with your protocol, Danny might not only feel better overall, but his chances of recovery are greater. That's correct. Then that's what we're doing. God, I just... Are you sure about this? No, Mom, I'm not sure of anything right now. I think I'm just... I'm, I'm going with this maternal instinct. Look, I don't... I don't like you at all. I think you're obnoxious. I think you're arrogant. You devoid anything resembling tact. Thank you. I'm not sure how that affects my ability to practice medicine, but... That is my point. You took one look at my son's rash and you knew exactly what was going on, and I have to trust that. I have to trust you. Because I never want to say that there was something more I could have done for my son. 
Let's go talk to your doctor. All right, what if the doctor doesn't agree? He'll agree with me. I'll, uh, intimidate him into submission. Dr. Clay. How'd the chemo go? Um, well, I think, uh, Danny's resting, so, so far, so, so good. But I think that's typical, right? I mean, it, it takes a while for the drugs to kick in. Was that not rhetorical? Yes, it takes a while for the side effects to set in. Anyway, I just, I wanted to say thank you. Because of you, I actually feel somewhat hopeful. I know, sounds kind of crazy coming from me. Don't mention it. 